Hi and welcome! In this video tutorial we will show you how to add chords to your songs. There are several ways of adding chords. You can let Scorecloud add chords automatically, manually write chords or play your chords onto the song. Let's start with the auto chord function. Click the magic wand button and then auto chords. Scorecloud will provide you with chord suggestions based on the notes in the score. Having multiple voices will make the suggestions better. If you are happy with the chords you get, that's great. Otherwise, it could be a good starting point. If you want to edit your chords manually, go into Chords mode from the toolbar or by pressing C. In chords mode, you can click on the grey chord boxes and type a chord name. Jump to the next box by pressing space or tab. If you want to go back, shift tab. With a chord box selected, you can also play the chord using your keyboard. Note that playing the same chord multiple times will only write it out once. If you want it to be written again, you can go back and add it manually. Another way to add chords is to play the chords into a new voice using overdub. Go to normal mode, have your MIDI keyboard ready and click on overdub and then on MIDI recording. You will get a count in and then play along. You can also play the chords into the listener either using a microphone with instrument recording or on a MIDI keyboard. If you are playing a lot of offbeat rhythm, you can use a click track. Check out our other videos for more information about this. Click on the analyze button to analyze the snippet into a new song. If any edits are needed, do that. Now copy paste the chord part into a new empty staff in your original song. With the chords as notes in a separate part like this, you can use the auto chords to get the names of the chords you played. Now that the chord symbols from the recorded chords are extracted, the chord part can be deleted. In the actions panel when a chord is selected, you can change to a different spelling of your chord, as well as related chords and tensions. If you want to choose a specific chord playback, you can choose that here. With some chord playback styles, you can even switch on a drum playback. If you
you want to turn the chord and drum playback into voices in your score, simply click Convert to Voices. You can now edit and share the bass line and the chord and drum notation of that playback style. Another handy feature in ScoreCloud we want to show you is the Chord Sheet View. Here you can view, edit, share and print just your chords. As a last tip, in normal mode, chords can be changed using the number keys on your keyboard. This will change the selected chord to the chord of that number in the scale. In the C major key, that would be 1 for a C major chord, 2 for D minor, 3 for E minor, 4 for F major, and so on. This is sometimes called the Nashville number system and can be a really fast way to write your 1, 5, 6, 4 chord progression in any key. We suggest to try out all these methods and see what suits your workflow. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other tutorials.